This demo will highlight WorkSoft Certify's record set capability. We're going to start off by picking a simple application, test process already written. In this case, it's against the Honda website for one of my customers, selecting a car for a quote, testing their online system. There's lots of reasons for record sets. Record sets may be used to store or capture data. They may use, be used to variableize data, meaning you don't want to test the same example, the same customer, or the same product every time. They can also be used to store information or write to a record set so that we can use it at another time. I'm going to give you a quick example of using a record set. We've built a test process. We now want to be able to go in and change that test process as we go. So I'm going to select a couple of lines here. We're going to right click and we're going to add them to the layout. You'll notice what happens here. WorkSoft Certify automatically creates a variable with the exact same name as the various fields that we are in. I'm going to give this record set a name. We'll click on OK. Take a look what happens. So now instead of having John as our first name, we have a placeholder or variable called first name. And if I click on the record set tab, I can see the fields that I had before with the name, address, city, and state. I now have the ability to import or export data depending on whether this is an input record set or a record set that we're writing to. I have the ability to import and export data to variableize the system. Again, very easy to do. I can pick fields within my test that's already been written, add them to my record set, and then use that data stored in that record set for use in other cases. Thanks for watching. That's a simple overview of using record sets within WorkSoft Certify.